so it's time now to start setting up our son's nursery. So this has been my daughter's room for nine years and it's like basically the kids' room. And so what we're gonna be doing today is most people convert the Leander cot to the Leander junior bed, which is what this is. We're doing the opposite today. We're converting the Leander junior bed to the Leander cot as we eagerly and very excitedly await the birth of our second child nine years after the birth of our first. Two tools, Allen key, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, Amity and Piper, we're now gonna convert your old child's bed back into a baby cot. We've got our bed, we're gonna convert to a cot. We've got the spare parts we've got out of the storage shed. We've got the Allen keys, we've got the Phillips screwdriver, and we've got the instructions. So let's go. So step one, let's strip the bed. So take this, hit you, hit the dog. <laughs> okay, we'll take this sheet off. Oh, you weren't doing it right. Oh. And off. Oh, it's off. And off. Oh, and it's off. Hit Piper. <laughs> All right, you're okay, boy. Okay, now I need to dismantle the bed. So number four Allen key. Is it my right or it's my, your left? Left, your left. So, so counterclockwise. Side. Okay, this is it. Trouble isn't turning in, it's playing it. Yeah, this one's a little bit sticky. Put it in, then I turn. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I think you've got it. Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah. And this bit fell off. Yep. Yeah. So let's put this here. Piper's helping. Oops. Okay, here, darling, get around that side and help me lift it. Oh, yay. Well, that was that it's surprisingly easy. Can you go for it? Now we have to take off the side bits. Okay, so turn around, 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 around. Around, and around. How do I know when to stop? When the screw falls out. Oh, really? Or when you can undo it by hand. I think I can. Yeah, I can. Is it this way? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Button this way off. And then this one has to come off. screws which is going a little bit tight at the time. Okay, let's start assembling the cot. Now we're assembling the sides. So, sweetie, can you hold this for me? Sure. So, 
I'm going to put in these metal things so that they align with those metal things. Okay, Oops. But I put it around the wrong way. Silly you. Silly me. Okay, well, let's, let's done. And then you hold it there while I screw those in. So this is the bottom of the cot, the base. Yeah. Well, it's going to be. Yeah. So hold it down there, down. Okay, now we seem to have reached a little bit of an impasse, unfortunately, because the next step is to connect these to here, these high ends. The problem being is that I need one, two, three metal rods to fit them onto, and I don't know where those pieces have gone. The typical assembling, reassembling furniture for the want of a screw, an empire was lost. I shall go down to our storage cage to see if we still have them. If not, I guess I'll then have to go to Bunnings. Okay, well I think I might have found the pieces. We'll have to test them and see. Okay, these were the pieces that were missing. Thankfully they were downstairs in our storage shed. I've already put four of them back on. These are the two remaining ones. So they need to be screwed into the end here. Whoops. Hopefully the thread's not gone with the age. Screws at the side. So 
so appears to be yet another hitch. Just when I thought we had all the pieces, it turns out that this is probably the easiest loose piece to source on, say, Bunnings. We definitely don't have enough. We've only got four, and we need eight. So that's a little bit of a mystery where the other four have gone. So once I've finished, yes, please come here, darling. So once yeah. I've finished putting in these two screws, I'll go downstairs again. See if we can find them. Can yep, so come here, sweetie. Oh, there you are in the cot. <laughs> I remember when you were in the cot, darling. <laughs> That's it, darling. Okay, so. Is it the black screw? So we're putting on these side things. Yes, the brown screw. That's right. Brown. Now it's got to go in there. Go. So now we're just looking for four more screws. Okay, so after all that, turns out we don't know those four screws, don't know where they're gone, so I'm gonna need to go to Bunnings tomorrow and get them. Okay, so as often the case, these spare parts from these ready-made kits seem to not exactly fit any normal size pieces. So even though I went to Bunnings, which has got a vast range of different um, bolts, um, this appeared to be about 40 millimeters long, whereas I could only find 38 millimeters long or 45 millimeters long, nothing in between. And likewise, the width, actually the width is probably fairly close, but not certain it's exact, but I had a really good look and nothing seemed to fit. But we'll give it a go anyway and see if it works. Hopefully it does. If not, the baby will have to sleep on the floor. So I'm now putting back in the bolt. Oops. I took to match on running. It's not that anything exactly matched. So now the next thing we'll be testing something that doesn't exactly fit. So we'll put the side here. By the way, I do not endorse using anything that does not exactly fit, as therefore the warranty would be void. But this is almost certainly gone through yet out of warranty, and obviously I'll test it carefully for safety's sake before we <coughs> Before any child is allowed in there. The dog does not seem to appreciate me using a non certified screw but it well and truly seems to fit. So it seems to do the trick. So I shall go get three more of those. Okay now this is a little bit more difficult because I need to put on these side things. I guess I could lean over but I'm gonna try something different. I'm just gonna climb in. Don't do this at home. Faces, one slightly longer than the other, so I put the longer one in the longer support struts, obviously. There you go. Oh, that's a And then put of. the Leander mattress. Need to get a new sheet set, but there you go. Oh, 
looks so beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, wow. So here it is, our Leander Cot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Python wants the toy. <laughs> Our Leander cot um, converted from the junior bed back to the cot for our second child. And um, I just cannot wait to bring our baby boy home. He'll be able to sleep in this beautiful cot. So after nine years in storage, we have rebuilt the Leander cot from the junior bed. <laughs>